Hello friends, in today's video, we shall see the mathematical derivation of a cos function from a production function. We have a Cope Douglas production function that is q is equal to al alpha k beta and the cost function is given as c is equal to wl plus rk where l is the number of laborers, k is the number of capital and w is the wages given to laborers and r is the rental price of capital. Now the total cost function is given as a function of output that is c is the function of q. So clearly we can see that this is a constrained output maximization problem that is maximizing the output given a cost constraint. Strain. So this optimization problem can be symbolically written as maximizing Q is equal to AL alpha K raised to beta subject to the cost constraint C bar is equal to WL plus RK. Now since this is an optimization problem, we will be using the Lagrangian multiplier here to solve this. Now we have to equate the cost constraint to 0 and then multiply it with the Lagrangian multiplier lambda and then add it to the objective function. And so we get the Lagrangian function or the composite function which is phi is equal to al alpha k raised to beta plus lambda multiplied by c bar minus wl minus rk. Now we need to find out the first order derivatives of this Lagrangian function with respect to labor, capital and lambda and then set it equal to 0. So we get del phi by del l is equal to a alpha l raised to alpha minus 1 k raised to beta minus lambda w equal to 0. Now simplifying this we get del phi by del l is equal to alpha al alpha minus 1 k raised to beta is equal to lambda w. Similarly, differentiating the Lagrangian function with respect to k, we get al alpha beta k raised to beta minus 1 minus lambda r is equal to 0. Now solving this, we get beta al alpha k raised to beta minus 1 equal to lambda r. Similarly, differentiating phi with respect to lambda, we get c bar minus wl minus rk is equal to 0. Now solving for mpl by mpl mpk we have to substitute the terms that we have just found out onto this equation so we get mpl by mpk is equal to alpha al raised to alpha minus 1 k raised to beta by beta al alpha k raised to beta minus 1 equal to lambda w by lambda r here al alpha k raised to beta and lambda are common terms and they get cancelled out so finally we get mpl by mpk is equal to alpha l raised to minus 1 by beta k raised to minus 1 equal to w by r now here since the exponents are negative, we shall take the reciprocals and finally we receive MPL by MPK is equal to alpha by beta multiplied by K by L which is equal to W by R. Now from this equation, if we solve for K, we get K is equal to W by R multiplied by beta by alpha multiplied by L. Now substituting this equation of capital onto the production function, Q is equal to AL alpha K raised to beta, we get Q is equal to AL alpha W by R multiplied by beta by alpha multiplied by L the whole raised to beta. That is the equation for K is substituted onto the K in the production function and in the production function the K is raised to the power beta. So that is why the entire equation is raised to the power beta. Now opening the brackets we get Q is equal to AL alpha W by R the whole raised to beta multiplied by beta by alpha the whole raised to beta multiplied by L raised to beta. So here we have L raised to alpha and L raised to beta the base terms are common and since since this is in a multiplicative form, we can add up the exponents. So we get Q is equal to AL raised to alpha plus beta multiplied by W by R multiplied by beta by alpha the whole raised to beta. From this equation, if we solve for L, we get L raised to alpha plus beta is equal to Q multiplied by 1 by A multiplied by W by R multiplied by beta by alpha the whole raised to beta. Now bringing the alpha plus beta onto the RHS, we get L is equal to Q multiplied by 1 by A multiplied by W by R multiplied by beta by alpha the whole raised to beta the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta. The equation can further be simplified and written as L is equal to Q by A multiplied by W by R multiplied by beta by alpha the whole raised to beta the entire term raised to 1 by alpha plus beta. Now opening the brackets each of the term will be raised to the power 1 by alpha plus beta. Now in this equation we have to solve the exponents here that is beta multiplied 
divided by 1 by alpha plus beta will be beta by alpha plus beta. So since this term is in the denominator, when we take it out, we take the reciprocals and then rewrite the equation as L is equal to Q raised to 1 by alpha plus beta by A raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by R by W the whole raised to beta by alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha by beta the whole raised to beta by alpha plus beta. Now this equation can again be simplified and written as L is equal to Q by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by R by W multiplied by alpha by beta the whole raised to beta by alpha plus beta. So substituting this equation on to the equation of K that is K is equal to W by R multiplied by beta by alpha multiplied by L we get K is equal to W by R multiplied by beta by alpha multiplied by Q by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by R by W multiplied by alpha by beta the whole raised to beta by alpha plus beta that is in the equation of K in the place of L we have substituted this equation. Now opening the brackets we get K is equal to W beta by R alpha multiplied by Q by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by R alpha raised to beta by alpha plus beta divided by W beta raised to beta by alpha plus beta. So here we can see terms with similar base that is R alpha and W beta. So rearranging the terms with same base we get K is equal to Q by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by W beta by W beta raised to beta by alpha plus beta multiplied by R alpha raised to beta by alpha plus beta divided by R alpha. This W beta is raised to the power 1 and R alpha is also raised to the power 1. So bringing the term in the denominator onto the numerator of W beta we get W beta raised to 1 minus beta by alpha plus beta. Similarly if we bring the R alpha raised to 1 in the denominator denominator onto the numerator we get r alpha raised to beta by alpha plus beta minus 1. Now since 1 minus beta by alpha plus beta is equal to alpha by alpha plus beta and beta by alpha plus beta minus 1 is equal to minus alpha by alpha plus beta we can rewrite this equation with the solved exponents as k is equal to q by a the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by w beta raised to alpha by alpha plus beta multiplied by R alpha raised to minus alpha by alpha plus beta. Since the exponent of R alpha is a negative exponent, we can bring that term onto the denominator and we get k is equal to q by a the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by w beta raised to alpha by alpha plus beta by R alpha raised to alpha by alpha plus beta. With further simplification, we can write the equation as k is equal to q by a the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by w by R multiplied by beta by alpha the whole raised to alpha by alpha plus beta. We have already found out the equation for labor and capital. Now substituting these two equations onto the cost function that is C is equal to WL plus RK we get the equation as C is equal to W multiplied by the equation for labor plus R multiplied by the equation for capital. Simplifying the above equation that is we will be opening the brackets of these two terms we get C is equal to W W multiplied by Q by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by R by W the whole raised to beta by alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha by beta the whole raised to beta by alpha plus beta plus R multiplied by Q by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by W by R the whole raised to alpha by alpha plus beta multiplied by beta by alpha the whole raised to alpha by alpha plus beta. Now again opening the brackets for these two terms we get R raised to beta by alpha plus beta divided by w raised to beta by alpha plus beta. Similarly here also we get w raised to alpha by alpha plus beta divided by r raised to alpha by alpha plus beta. All other terms are the same. Now in this equation we have terms with similar base. We have w and w raised to beta by alpha plus beta and here we have r and r raised to alpha by alpha plus beta. So rearranging the terms with the same base and then simplifying we can write the equation as c is equal to q by a the 
whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by W by W raised to beta by alpha plus beta multiplied by R raised to beta by alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha by beta the whole raised to beta by alpha plus beta plus Q by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by R by R raised to alpha by alpha plus beta multiplied by W raised to alpha by alpha plus beta multiplied by beta by alpha the whole raised to alpha by alpha plus beta. Now here also solving the exponents we have W raised to 1 here. So bringing the denominator onto the numerator we get W raised to 1 minus beta by alpha plus beta which is alpha by alpha plus beta and here we have R raised to 1. So here also bringing the denominator onto the numerator we get R raised to 1 minus alpha by alpha plus beta which is beta by alpha plus beta. So rewriting the equations with the simplified exponents we get C is equal to Q by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by W raised to alpha by alpha plus beta multiplied by R raised to beta by alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha by beta the whole raised to beta by alpha plus beta plus Q by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by R raised to beta by alpha plus beta multiplied by W raised to alpha by alpha plus beta multiplied by beta by alpha the whole raised to alpha by alpha plus beta. In this equation these three terms are common here. So by taking the common terms out and rewriting the equation we get C is equal to Q by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by W raised to alpha by alpha plus beta multiplied by R raised to beta by alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha by beta the whole raised to beta by alpha plus beta plus beta by alpha the whole raised to alpha by alpha plus beta and these last two terms will be in square brackets. If we simplify Q by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta we can write it as Q raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by 1 by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta. Now substituting these terms onto this equation we get C is equal to Q raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by W raised to alpha by alpha plus beta multiplied by R raised to beta by alpha plus beta multiplied by 1 by A the whole raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha by beta the whole raised to beta by alpha plus beta plus beta by alpha the whole raised to alpha by alpha plus beta. Now here since the denominator of the exponents of the terms inside the square brackets are the same that is alpha plus beta we can once again rewrite the equation as C is equal to Q raised to 1 by alpha plus beta multiplied by W raised to alpha by alpha plus beta multiplied by R raised to beta by alpha plus beta multiplied by 1 by A multiplied by alpha by beta the whole raised to beta plus beta by alpha the whole raised to alpha the whole term raised to 1 by alpha plus beta. So this is the final total cost function that we derived from the production function. So this total cost function is a function of the total output Q, the factor prices W and R and the production function coefficients that is A, alpha and beta. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and share the videos to maximum. Thank you.